Hey guys, it's Stephen Chen, event director, host, and MC for the 10th annual Agents on Film Festival of Shorts, and we're joined here by the director of our film, Mirror. This is Christina Yoon. Hey, Christina, thanks for joining. Hey, thanks for having me. Wonderful. So tell me, what is it about your film that really uses the word mirror and self-image as the message? Um. Yeah, I mean, so the, the theme of self image is, is what drives the film, definitely. The character, Yana, she has a scarred face that, you know, prevents her from feeling like she can really be herself in the world and show um, who she really is and is a source of insecurity for her. Um, and throughout the film, she decides to go get plastic surgery to remove the scar and has to deal with how far she's willing to go in that surgery to completely transform herself or not. Um, so it is a film really about self-reflection, about how much we need to change ourselves to appeal to the world and to others versus what really makes us comfortable and makes us feel like we're still, you know, you are still you. And uh, Cause I think that line really gets blurry and like, the motivation for why someone wants to go get surgery also gets very blurry. Wow, that's really deep. So the the tone of the film is very melancholy, but how was it like filming? Did you laugh off set? Did you have any funny moments? Because it's a serious film with a serious topic that you just touched on, but uh, kind of behind the scenes, can you explain how was it like on set with such a heavy topic? Yeah, it it was um it was really fun and chaotic, honestly. Yeah. I mean, you know, there are a lot of like extras and a lot of moving parts, um, a lot of locations. So it was really lively. The the set was very lively and there's a lot of people just running around, oh, we need to bandage this person and like do we set up this, you know, room properly and do we have all our props and um moving around place to place and then like figuring out like okay what do you do at a dry cleaners like oh okay so this you know talking to the dry cleaners owner about like mm -hmm. how would you tailor these clothes and um so it was really fun and it was uh yeah it was a lot of activity i think when we were filming the consultation scene with um the assistant the doctor's assistant woman who's trying to sell her on the idea of getting plastic surgery we were like really laughing quite hard because um, really of yeah, just because I wanted her to go get to a place of absurdity um, with like her giant calculator and just the way she's like talking about as if she's selling a product to, to Yana. Um, and so just the absurdity of that did make us laugh sometimes. That's so funny you say because that scene specifically and a few other scenes, there were a lot of really good quotes. Like, I don't want to spoil it, but those were kind of like, what did she just say? Like. Did she really say, again, I'm not going to spoil it, but but there were just a lot of moments in that scene that that kind of made you like, is this really happening? Did she really say that? Kind of like if you're in public, like, wait, did, mm -hmm. no, that couldn't be. But I can see the absurdity. Yeah. Um, what do you think your actors learned from everything, just not only being on set, but kind of the message you're trying to convey with your film? They, they were pretty clear on what we were trying to say, what we were trying to do with the film. Um, and, you know, with the main actress, her name's Spring, I did talk to her and I was like, you know, maybe you've had, you know, image issues in the past, like many women have, um, but if not, like everyone has that thing that they're insecure about or that bothers them, even if it was like a teenage issue more so. And to, be able to root into that and like remember how that made you feel and just building the empathy for the character in that way that like we can all kind of relate to wishing that some part of ourselves was different um and and then grappling with like the self-acceptance of that so mm -hmm. um we did have a lot of talks about that and she she was able to like root into that um uh the, so the inspiration came just from an image at first, an image of a scarred woman walking the streets of of Chinatown, Koreatown, Flushing, something like that. Um, and I was really taken with that image and um, of this woman who 
in this place of craziness and people and, and flashing lights um, in a society and a culture that is very judgmental of a physical appearance has something that like she truly can't do anything about um, on her face until she goes and gets surgery. And I think that the, th the themes and the feelings of that were interesting to me, like from my own past struggles of when I was a teenage girl, um, feeling the beauty standards being placed on me and the pressure of that. And, you know, the time that it took for me to grow out of that and to realize that like, that's, it's, it's so psychological, you know, you can, if you're a supermodel, if, your mindset isn't, you know, in a healthy place, you can think that some part of yourself is ugly. Mm -hmm. And that is, you know, a kind of <clears throat> um, vice versa, you know, if you're not the typical beauty standard, but if your mindset is in a healthy place, uh, you can find yourself beautiful and others will find you beautiful as well. So um, all of that just became really interesting. And like, I sort of fixated on how this character would deal with this difficult decision because I don't know how I would deal with it. You know, it's in, in her place, like what would I do? It is really um, like, it's, it's a tough choice to make. And so I think it all kind of just started snowballing from there of, mm -hmm. of, of the themes and like her world. But I, I will say it didn't start off with the message. You know, I didn't go and being like, okay, I want to make a film about oh, this, really? this message and this topic. Okay. It started off with like the feelings that were moving me at the time, like what was yeah. affecting me personally um, of, of reflecting on, on one of the darkest times of my life and, and being out of it, out of that now to look back on it. Um, I think those were just the pressing emotions that I wanted to, that I wanted to explore in a film, so. Well, thank you for sharing that about yourself. And thank you for sharing your film with us. Hey, folks, if you'd like to see this amazing, deep-rooted message film called Mirror with Christina Yoon as our director, you can check us out. The link is in our bio. Thank you so much for joining us, Christine, and have a wonderful time. Thank you.